We're gonna make butter today. So for those that haven't made butter before, there's loads of ingredients. Just joking. We just need some cream. So I'm using my pour, my pure cream today. Um, and I've brought up the recipe on Cookie Do. So this is actually on our basic cookbook. So really nice and easy. We're gonna use our butterfly whisk. So for those that don't know, I place my butterfly whisk behind the big blade. So I consider my big blades the ones that sit up the highest. Okay, so I've popped that in. And we're gonna place our cream, okay? So I'm just popping in our cream. Look at that. There's a big difference there. And I know my scales aren't out. So that's, for, oh, that's 500. Let me grab another one. I was like, wow, that's a huge difference. It's meant to be 600. So there you go. I think they used to be 600 milliliter cartons. Now they've changed to the plastic bottles. It has reduced. There we go. Now I could um, have just done the one bottle. That's fine. You could do as little as 200 grams. If you've got some extra cream laying around in the fridge that you is going close to the expiry date, definitely whip that up into some butter um, like we are today and um, save the money. Don't waste it. So we're just going to beat this with the butterfly whisk for about a minute. Sometimes it takes less, sometimes it takes longer, depending on the age of the cream. So this is very fresh cream, so it um, may not take too long. <laughs> so you may have experienced over whipping cream um, when you're thinking you're just gonna whip up some cream to put on some scones and the next thing you know, you've got butter. So it is wise just to keep an eye on it. I'm just gonna stop it now just to show you halfway through that minute um, what it's looking like so you know what to be looking for. So you can see that quite quickly the milk, can I do it without spilling? You can see the buttermilk actually separating from the butter. So I'll just keep that going for a few more seconds. And clearly the sound of that whipping the cream inside is changing. Got my simmering basket ready. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness, looks amazing. Just gonna drain that buttermilk so we don't lose that in the lid. Look at that. See all the buttermilk in there? So it's asked me to remove my butterfly whisk. And now what I'm gonna do is pop, and I'm just gonna push that little bit of cream down or butter, I should say, down into the bowl. And I'm gonna place this in my bowl, like so, okay? So this I'm gonna use as a strainer. Got a glass jar here, and I'm just gonna pour, this is all our gorgeous buttermilk. All right. So we've got our buttermilk, we've got our butter, and I'm going to put this aside for later. Oh, there's a little bit more in there. I'm just going to push down on the butter because I can see more buttermilk separating. I don't know if you can see that. Give me a second. Can you see that when I'm pushing, try and do this one handed, pushing onto the side of the bowl, it actually is pressing out a little bit more of the buttermilk. And I don't want to miss out on that buttermilk. We want as much of it as we can. Yeah. 
So we've got our buttermilk. We've separated that. We've got our butter. Tiny bit more of buttermilk. I'll just see if I can pour that out. Beautiful. And now what we're going to do is add about 500 grams of chilled water. Even if you've got ice in there, please use chilled water. All right. To wash our, our butter with. We've added the butter solids. They're still in there. We're going to insert the lid and we're going to give them a quick wash. Okay. So this one, you can see the water has actually washed it again. So what I'm going to do now, do what I did before, pop my simmering basket into the bowl and I'm now going to strain that off yet again. So. Press on the sides of my butter just to remove as much as I can of that liquid. Now that liquid you could use if you wanted to. It's not going to be quite as, um, what's the word, <laughs> buttermilky as the first um, strain. But um, it's definitely something that you could use if you really wanted to. So if you're one of these families where you don't want to waste anything at all, um, yes, um, you could in fact use that. I like to remove as much as of the buttermilk and the water as possible and my butter tends to last longer in my fridge. And there's my butter ready to go. At this point, you could actually re-whip it and add salt or flavour your butter, perhaps for honey butter for your hot cross buns. Okay, so there you have it. I have my buttermilk that I can use for pancakes, for cakes, for breads. Um, and I've got my butter and I've actually got this in my butter bell. So what I can do is just put a little bit of cold water in the bottom of this and um, I can sit that on my bench all day and it will remain good to go and it will also um, be spreadable. I can actually add some salt to that if you wanted to while you're whipping it up at the last second you can whip it up and the rest I've rolled up into a log like a lolly <laughs> with my glad wrap twisted the ends and I will pop that in the fridge fridge in the fridge in the fridge for when I'm um, ready to use it so there you so that's how easy it is to make butter from simple old cream